Well, hi everyone, this is Albert Tricasso and it's April the 25th, 2016. Get out there and vote tomorrow in Pennsylvania, April the 26th, 2016. Make sure you get out there and vote. Get out there and vote in the Democratic and Republican primary. And of course, you want to make sure that on in November, I believe it's November the 8th, you want to vote, and you want to vote for people who actually has your financial best interests at heart. I'm not going to give you an idea right now. That's another video, another day. I'm in a park that about, I think it was about eight or nine years ago, I interviewed my non-biological father, my second father, and he was more of a dad than, well, frankly, than most people are blessed enough to have. And we had an interview, and at that time he had, he had issues uh, physically. He was getting older, I can't remember what age he was. He might have been 88, 89, somewhere around there. So you could see that on the video. His name was Albert R. Goldsmith. You can look it up on YouTube under Albert Tercaso, T-O-R-C-A-S-O. And lately, in the last couple years, I figured I'd come here again and do other videos. But it's kind of a hard thing to do because when I come here, and I may be even at the same exact bench, I mean, bench that we were at or a picnic table, I don't know. It, they all look alike to me, unfortunately. So I really don't know. The benches do look similar. Some of them do. Actually, some don't. But, uh, it's a tough thing. And you know, I could easily not do it because it is tough. But I thought I wanted to honor the spirit of my second dad. So I chose to come here to shoot my videos. Now Al Goldsmith, Albert R. Goldsmith, he cared about people. And believe me, a lot of people, well, let's just say they mistreated him or used them because they knew he was a loving person and he was non-confrontational. He was a lot more of a humanitarian than I am even close to being. You see, the difference between Al and I is I'm still working to evolve to be that person that I turn the other cheek. Sometimes I will. Other times I'll slap you upside your head, at least verbally. I'm not a violent person, never have been. Except for in self-defense, I, I, I took care of the business once or twice. I believe in standing up for myself. I believe in protecting myself and my family. I will do it ethically, legally, and peacefully if possible. But I will protect my family. Well, Al, he was the ultimate humanitarian. And I think people took that for a weakness and considered him a chump. He was robbed many times of his monies when he was in a nursing home and uh, abused and a few other things. People masquerading as friends that were, well, we won't go into that, but they weren't friends. Me, on the other hand, I have that fire in me. And being honest, I'm of Sicilian heritage. And yes, I, I can have a temper when I have been robbed, injustice, or anything. But Al was a beyond wonderful person. And the ironic thing about it is, if you go to youtube.com and look my name up, Albert Tricasso, T-O-R-C-A-S-O, you'll find a couple of videos with my dad. But if you do a Google search, I don't know if you'll find anything on my dad. You should, but I don't know. Because he uh, pretty much did everything, he had done everything before the, you know, Googles and Yahoos, all that came to being. But I will say this, if you were a teacher in the Pittsburgh, PA area, or anywhere around there, or you were into the artistic scene, you know, like Andy Warhol, art museums, or the, so many art places, around the city, you would know who Albert R. Goldsmith is. If you were the governor, a former governor, Dick Thornburg, you would recognize, in most cases, 
Albert R. Goldsmith because he actually taught a lot of people. When I say a lot, I'm talking about close to 80 years worth. Yes. He was a humble man. I could learn a lot from him. I'm working on people. I'm working on But I thought I would honor him. He wasn't a perfect man. No. He did some things. Really made me angry. Not the mean, but just kind of feeling disappointed and dejected at times. Just one thing, really, one or two things, and that was it. But Al, you could not believe how many other people loved him. It shocked me. He had a 90th birthday. <laughs> or should I say, a 90th birthday party. And I'm his son, unofficially, right? But considered his son. And I'm at this party, and I'm not even a side dish compared to the main meal to put in a food analogy. By the time the summer came, his birthday was April, well, it was in April. I know what it is, but I want to keep some things, you know, protected. He had his birthday in April. By the time he was done, people were celebrating his birthday still, which, didn't make, which it was just wow. There, he had some birthday parties that lasted until like September. Now, I know what that sounds like because I was surprised myself. So many people celebrated his birthday that frankly, I was, I was shocked, and if I'm going to be honest, and I am, I was even jealous to a point. There had to be at least a thousand to three thousand people to celebrate at my dad's birthday. And I learned some things about my dad that I had never known. Many things. And it was just astounding to learn this. So today, April the 25th, I thought, well, I'm going to shoot these videos. Where's a good place? And ironically, I just came across the videos earlier this, today that I had shot of him. I wasn't looking for them. I was looking for a different video where I had actually been singing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's a scary thought, too. I agree. It is kind of. I mean, my voice isn't where I want it to be. Hey, forget about it. I'm looking at, literally, I looked at every one of my videos. I had scrolled down, and I seen Dad and couldn't resist. So I shared it on my Facebook page, one or two of them. If you have a chance to have a person like an Al Goldsmith, then you've already had a treasure. But more importantly, I want you to do something today that it may sound corny and Frankly, you may not have thought about it. Whoever you love, whether it's your wife, your girlfriend, your boy, you know, your buddies, your teacher, whomever it is, if you love them, tell them. If you love them, let them know. If you are in a romantic situation, hug or kiss that person. Kiss them as if your next breath is your last. Because one day it will be. And I can tell you, I don't know, it's been eight, nine, 10 years, whatever it's been since we were here. And it's on the YouTube to date, and I don't remember what it was, but <sighs> it's been that long and it still hurts. You know, time they claim heals all wounds. It may, to a point, dampen it, and maybe even for some, or many. But you know what? There's still gonna be a part of you that has that pain. And I'll tell you what, to my father, to his spirit and soul, whether he's up there in paradise or he's reincarnated, or not re yeah, reincarnated, to the spirit and soul of Albert R. Goldsmith. Thank you for everything. 
even when I got mad at you. I love you, Dad. And Annette's over here is half asleep. She's over here to the right. I love her, too. I love she, you, too. Thank and you. And I love Al Goldsmith, too. I know you did. I guess my message here... And I love your mother and well, that's a mother. great thing. Hold on. Let me see if I can get this to go to you. If you're going to say something, might as well say it on camera, right? Here you go. Say it again. I'm saying I love Al Goldsmith, too, and... His mother and my mother, they all passed away. Yeah. Recently. Not that recent, about 10 years, whatever. 10, 12 well, years. Well, my mother passed away in 2007. Al Goldsmith passed away in 2007 or 8. And my mother died and, of cancer in 2002. Yeah. Thanks to them not catching it, but that's another story. So, it's heartbreaking. And I feel for anybody who really loves somebody that passed away suddenly or unexpectedly or untimely. Mm -hmm. Or unjustly. Or unjustly. So, time does heal all wounds. In your opinion. Even, even with the ones who are still here. You just have to leave it up to God and, you know, um, belief that time will erase the pain. I don't or think it, it will. Or numb it. Hi. Hold on. You go ahead and talk. I got to see your puppy. Hi, puppy. Or numb it. And that's all I have to say. Hi. God bless you, everybody.